St. John, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and Sandyland Center of God Org, our website. Well, here we are. It's April 1st, and no one has a good April Fool joke. Anyway, it's Wednesday, April 1st. The temperature at noon here in the square is 71, and we're having a partly cloudy day today, and 85 is going to be the high temperature. Tomorrow, Thursday, partly cloudy, and uh, 70 the high. And then some much needed rain, but unfortunately it's on uh, Friday. So rain Friday, 60 the high temperature, and a 40% chance of rain. Then we have uh, sunny for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, it's going to also be windy on uh, Saturday, wouldn't you guess? And the temperature will be 72 for the high, Sunday 78, and on Monday a big 81 for the high temperature with sunny weather. So we're looking like we're headed for spring for sure. And uh, except for important things about, uh, about uh, Easter and uh, Good Friday, uh, there isn't a whole lot of news this week in our two communities. And we won't find out the news for next month until uh, next time, perhaps. Anyway, uh, so we have uh, no birthdays today. A lot of things are just not going to happen in town. And uh, they're going on with the community cleanup, and I know they were by this yesterday picking up things off the grass. Well, we have no birthdays, and uh, the only... Uh, Really, really important note is that this is Easter weekend coming up, and on Friday, the St. John Hudson's Ministers Alliance is having the annual uh, Good Friday community service, and that's going to be at the First United Methodist Church on Friday, and at 6 o'clock they're having a fellowship with cookies and things like we always do when we have it. And at 7 o'clock is the service. And on Good Friday we always have the fellowship time ahead because we think it's appropriate after the service to just quietly uh, leave the church. And then of course uh, all the churches will be having uh, special services for Easter. On, uh, on Sunday, and we do celebrate the Good Friday where uh, Jesus gave himself as the sacrifice for our sins, and on uh, Sunday we celebrate his resurrection, and uh, those are perhaps two of the greatest events in history. At least they are for Christians, and we look forward to Jesus coming back. In any case, uh, that is the announcement that we have, and we've told you the weather, and now we only have one menu, too, for our fellowship meals. And that's from the Maxwell VIP Center, <clears throat> and they're having chicken parmesan today, and uh, tomorrow a super... Uh, pork roast uh, with gravy and sweet potatoes. And then on Friday, uh, baked cod fillet fish uh, fillet or Salisbury steak. And I guess you have a choice. And uh, that really is all the news and announcements that we have. Uh, and just one other thing, uh, stay tuned for the announcement that you've probably seen before about God's story, which is taking place in the community in other places, but primarily at the Southern Baptist Church. And you can stay tuned to hear one of the sermons, if it works out right, uh, after the news on Monday. Alright, that's all the news I have for you. Uh, the word of the day is this, people will believe anything you say if you whisper it. This is Jim Mikey, hoping you have a glorious Easter. This is your story. This is your story. This is your story. This is my story. This is my story. This is my story. But most of all, 
This is the greatest story ever told. This is God's story. This is God's story. This is God's story. I know you're going to enjoy the incredible journey you're about to embark on. The story is brimming over with tales of mystery, intrigue, adventure, of love, heartbreak, and triumph, of power, of struggle, and finally, of redemption. But remember, the Bible is not a hundred ancient, unrelated paintings, but a mural all knitted together to tell the story of God's great love for us and the extent to which He will go to get us back. I know you're really going to enjoy and appreciate this wonderful experience as you fully explore how we all fit into the greatest story ever told, God's story. This is God's story. This is God's story. This is God's story. I'm Ray Davidson, pastor of First Southern Baptist Church here in St. John on the corner of Second and Exchange. We would like to invite you to come and join with us as we look at God's story, the story of God's interaction with man. We'll begin on September the 7th at 9.30 a.m. with a 9.30 a.m. with a worship service followed by at 10.30 with Sunday School. This is a study for everyone in the family. All of the children, young people, adults will be studying the same lesson so that we can talk about it at home as we go through the week. We invite you again to come and join us on this 31-week study of God's story and man's story.